So in this video, I'm going to cover App Engine Flex, Node.js, Web App Debugging, and VS Code. I'll start out with importing the Hello World project, setting up the debugger launcher, and then once we get that running, we'll do some breakpoints, stack and variable inspection, and I'll show how to do auto assist at the end. So let's get started. First, we'll go to the terminal. Once we're in the terminal, I'm going to clone the project by using a command. These it has a bunch of sample projects in this repo. Okay, so now that I have it cloned, I'm going to go to VS Code. But before I do that, I want to do an npm install and bootstrap the project by downloading the dependencies, or at least get them downloaded and bootstrapped. Okay, so let's go into that directory. So that'd be node app engine, hello world. And once I'm in that, I'm going to do an npm install. It will install the project by fetching the dependencies and and initially building it. Okay, so now that's done, we'll go into VS Code. We want to open up the folder. It'll import the project in this way. So we'll go node, this is where App Engine, and then I want the Hello World. So selecting Hello World, I select the project. It imports the files, and here we go, app.js. This is where the JavaScript code is. Here's a simple definition for a Git request. And at root, we'll return Hello World. Okay, so I'm going to break point on that, but not yet. Let's just start it and see if it runs first. And so we'll go to the debug icon on the left and hit start. So now we've got the project running on localhost 8080. Let's go to the browser and open up the browser and go to localhost 8080. Okay, there we go. Hello world. A very simple project. Now that we're there, let's put a breakpoint. Go back and reload. Okay, we did a breakpoint. We were paused at this location. Here we go, our local variables. Here are the other, other items in the list and our call stack and all kinds of things you can do here. But this is great. So now let's just move along. Okay, we'll remove the breakpoint and we'll just make it make a change. And then let's just pretend we're gonna do some auto assess. So we'll go just like the top. I don't know about you, but this auto assist is really fast. So we can do all kinds of fun things with auto assist and VS Code. So I'm not going to go into full detail, but as you can see, as it pops up those dialogues, it's pretty quick. So there we go. We made a change. Let's go back to the web browser, change it. Oop, didn't change. So let's reload it. Go back to the browser and then change it. Oop, didn't change. We'll stop and then we'll replay run it again and then go back reload okay there's our there's our update so that concludes this video thanks for watching today and follow follow me for more tips and tricks on how to use the cloud tools thanks for watching catch you later